everyone. So this is our very first podcast for Spark Global. Now before we begin, I'm JP. And I'm Whitney. Hello. So today we're the host for today's podcast. Now before we get into details, let me introduce our wonderful advisors in Spark Global. Now mm-hmm. introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm from Office of Global Learning. Hi, I'm Emily. And hi, this is Jane. So these are our wonderful advisors in Spark Global. Now before we get into Spark Global, now there is a step before Sparkle, which is OGL. Now not everyone knows OGL, even I didn't know in the beginning. So what does OGL stand for? Um, OGL is Office of Global Learning. A lot of students, they may not be familiar with um, like our office full name. Right. It was because um, we uh, we always use actually USC Study Abroad as our brand name. Mm-hmm. Because um, literally um, we work for study abroad programs. And um, often you will uh, see actually USC Study Abroad with, with a green logo. Uh, around the campus yeah so and also yeah all our um, exchange applications I guess mostly goes through OGL uh, they go to the uh, application system. Okay. Yeah. The green one. The green one. The green one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So what do OGL actually do in HQSD? What kind of activities do you guys arrange? Um, like um, when it is in the normal situation, mm-hmm. so we do um, a lot of things. We um, such as we welcome our incoming um, exchange students, right. and we also uh, send out students. Um, to our partner institutions. For instance, we uh, we did offer uh, summer study abroad programs uh, in the previous summers before the pandemic mm-hmm. uh, uh, hit. For each semester, we usually all, uh, uh, organize uh, HAUC study abroad fair as well. So it aims to provide like uh, information about study abroad programs and how to get yourself prepared for the study abroad um, journey. Mm-hmm. And uh, like last semester, we do not have the physical study abroad fairs like you guys might see each other. Uh, I mean, you guys might see before uh, outside LTJ and LTK. Yeah. But we, uh, we do have a virtual study abroad fair last semester. Mm-hmm. to get um, students prepared um, how they um, uh, like apply or how they get right, through right. the study abroad journey. Right, and I did remember um, when I just got into UST, there was a lot of booths, I think in the LT, yeah, around LTJ, so from atrium when you walk actually yeah, through... Yeah, concourse. The, yeah, the concourse, yes, that's the right word, concourse. There's actually a lot of booths and there's also representatives, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, so I think it's a very... I think it's a very nice thing for OGL to organize the study booth, uh, the study abroad fair. Mm-hmm. Not just you know posting all those posters, but we also have different representatives who actually visited that particular university, and then students can ask questions you know freely. And I also remember that there was um, some interesting event. I think you guys have some free gifts or free food. I don't, I'm not sure. Is it yeah. popcorn or something? We did have popcorn. Yeah. We did have um, ice cream. Yeah, ice, ice creams. Cream. We Lovely. had egg waffle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, OGL does a lot. Um, they do not just about the administrative um, administrative work, but they also organize the study abroad fair, which is a big thing usually. And you know, they'll they'll open different booths and then introduce different kinds of programs. Now, after speaking about OGL, time for Spark Global because Spark, Spark Global, Spark Global is under OGL, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Sorry. Technically, <laughs> it is. Technically, it is okay under OGL. So, whose idea was it to start Spark Global? Like Spark Global. What was the? The community. Yeah, the community yeah. or the name, even the name, etc. The design or the. It framework. is by all of us, I guess. Collaboration. Collaboration. So okay. um, one day we sit together. Okay, that's the model <laughs> answer, guys. That's the model answer. It's the collaboration. Collaboration of our for office, all, all of our colleagues. Because like we want to provide like a platform for students right, yeah. to connect with each other and yeah. interact with each other, especially to uh, exchange their ideas or maybe their experience, right, yeah. um, like in global learning. Because like we know many HJSD students actually mm-hmm. go abroad for maybe work experience, study experience, or maybe travel experience. So we want to connect these group of, group of students together and like exchange their ideas. Right, it was a collaboration. Yeah. Um, among the different people. So I think it's a very um, nice thing. It's a very fantastic idea where um, you guys um, started to, you know, thought about actually opening an uh, open organization for students to um, share their idea, um, their experience at least from um, the study exchange program and to share it to the um, incoming freshmen of UST. And I think it's a, it's a very valuable um, thing that students can share to one another. 
because experience because they need some of these students in you know in their freshman year they want to ask for some advice or some ideas so that maybe in the future they might think of going abroad actually studying abroad which is a very um useful i think it's also helpful for the students who's especially new in ust um how's the experience so far in spark global <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay, okay. 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 No. Uh, we're all new. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, working okay. together. We haven't even met uh, together with everyone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's great to work with different minds, especially because we're all, like um, from old. Yeah, we're old. <laughs> but then you guys, you guys are very young. <laughs> and uh, you guys are all from different backgrounds, yes. from uh, studying in different disciplines. So it's great to have you, all of you guys working together and also uh, with us to contribute to this um, initiative Yeah, to bring out more projects together. Great. Right. Yeah. Uh, I see. So more, more precisely, are there any challenges that you guys face when working with us in this community? Well, so far, of course, it's uh, the major difficulties of the pandemic. Yeah. Because yeah. we have been working together for the whole semester, but it's, it's only the first time mm -hmm. we meet. But then, um, of course, uh, we do still interact through maybe uh, we meet on Zoom or Teams. Right. It's really great to mm -hmm. work with uh, you guys yeah. uh, to learn more about what you guys think uh, that could help to contribute to the UST community in terms of um, enhancing the global experience here. Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, guys, we do some work. <laughs> yes, we're very hardworking. We're hardworking people. Yeah. We're very hardworking people, especially you know, um, we're all doing things online. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. pretty. Um, it's pretty. I wouldn't say hectic, but then you know, we have to get used to it, right? Working online, and you know, we use Zoom always to um, organize our internal meetings. You know, talk, you know, about what we should do next, or the task, or improve anything. So we use. Um, Zoom for that one, and also we use Microsoft Teams for to you know upload all, all our documents. So, really thank them, sponsor us, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, um, it's I think it's a everything has we have to adjust, but then it's good that we can still carry out this part full full. So yeah, do make sure to you know follow us. Uh, what do you think, in your opinion, will be the vision of Sparkle? Let's say in five years, because probably I'm gonna graduate. Whitney's gonna graduate. Yeah. Well, I mean, but what do you think? You know the direction of Sparkle will be in USD? Um, I think like uh, Emily just mentioned, um, we wish to provide a platform for students to exchange their global um, global experience. learning experience. Yes. Uh, we always think that like understanding the other people's culture is a very important thing that you should have uh, you should have been doing uh, during like all occasions. Later on, of course, we want more and more students engaged in uh, the Spark Global uh, platform because um, um, after all, like sometimes we hear um, students saying that they might not have uh, like a lot of chances to interact with people from different cultural background. That is that is something that we want to uh, we want to enhance. We want to uh, work more on that, and um, by providing this platform, and we hope students could get like. Um, more more um, cultural information and they can right. open up their mind yeah. and they can um, learn something from the other students that would definitely help in their future life right I think it's, uh, I think it's also one of the very few organizations if not the only organization kind of to have the idea to actually connect and get more stories among students because I think usually we hold seminars right hold seminars usually for the students to you know, uh, learn about or prepare for the student exchange, but this time we have another platform that we can welcome students to really share the idea. So, which is, I think it's a very, it was a great, it's a great idea basically of the collaboration from OGL. So, it's very nice. Nice of you. So, go with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you for joining us today and listening to this podcast. So, make sure to follow our Instagram page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment down below, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.